Okay, so we're going to start on prop 16? Yeah. Divide by 22,000? Alright, what do you get when you divide 1 million by 22,000? Um, 45.45. Uh, that's 4 ninths, I think. Alright, now we have this equation solved. What's our step to solve this? Um, do the log of 45.45 equal to the log of, or the yeah. natural log of B. So we're going to take the natural log of both sides. Mm -hmm. And in algebra, you can do just about anything you want to any side of the equation as long as you do it to both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, we're going to apply the rules of logs on the right side of this equation to bring the exponent down onto the equation line. Mm -hmm. And what's the natural log of E equal to? 1. It is. So now we have T equals that divided by that. And that's the amount of time. Do you have your calculator in front of you? Mm -hmm. That's the number of years it's going to take him to turn this 22,000 into 1 million. Guessing quite some time. Yeah, 43 that? years. 43 years? 43.61. Okay, and since he's 35 years old,
Compound interest? Well, we're going to always start with that original equation. Oh, okay. Okay. The second part of this question says, at what rate will he need to invest 30000 uh, Another hypothetical scenario where he has 30 instead of 22. Mm -hmm. If he wants to retire at the age of 55, which is in 20 years, right? Yeah. So we're going to make this still one million. Okay. Only his starting principal is thirty thousand, and we're only going to have 20 years, right? Yeah. Again, I now have an equation with one variable only, R. So I'll be able to answer the question. At what rate will he need to invest it? Okay. So this divides by this into 33.33. Now take the natural log of both sides. Bring down the R20 or 20R. That's the log of E is 1. R is that number. 0.175. Which is what percent? Um, uh, so, I don't know. 17.5%. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, all so we're doing is converting that decimal to percent. If I believe it asks for at what rate would you need to invest? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so, in the first case, is 22,000 increased to a million after 43 years, but he was earning a rate of 8.75%. Well, this is almost double, mm -hmm. and it's going to turn a greater amount into the same million in 20 years instead of 43 years. So it passes with all our caps. Um, in other words, it's it's approximate. It sounds right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not that anybody's going to make seventeen point five percent on their money per year. That's not rational. Bernie Madoff has the greatest Ponzi scheme in history, offering investors ten percent a year. Mm -hmm. All right. If the only rate that he can be guaranteed his investment over the next 20 years is seven and a quarter percent, determine the principal that must be invested to have the one million. All right. Well, let's go back to our original equation. Fill in everything that they want. We're still trying to turn a million, but in this case, we're going to start with twenty thousand. And it says seven and a quarter percent. So I convert that to a decimal. Again, solve for 
the only variable in that equation, which is t. And that will give us our answer. Uh, that's 50 equals, so we have the natural log of 50 equals 0 0.0725t. The natural log of 50 divided by 0 0.0725 is, that's how long he'll... 53.95. Um, Hold on. I did this wrong. Um, let's go back. Sorry again. Oh, in the thing it, it uses... He's going to get seven and a quarter percent, but he's only going to have 20,000 year, years to do it. So, T is 20, and T is the unknown. Yeah, that's what it says in the thing. Okay? Yep. So there's the equation we have to solve. So let's make sure we can solve this. Well, that's actually fairly straightforward. P is 1 million divided by E to the whatever 20 times that number is. So... In other words, there's no natural log needed. There's nothing. Just figure out the answer to that equation and you have... So then, um, 234,570. That's right. If you were only earning 7% and you invested it for 20 years, you would expect to increase the money by a factor of 4. That's about right. You end up doubling your money about every 10 years. Okay. Yes, that, that's right. Um, actually, seven percent. I thought you doubled your money over seven years, but maybe that, that's more than ten percent. Okay. Okay. I'm sure that counts right. All right. Notice what happened in that problem. We took one equation, and they gave you four different problems. One, they gave you the principal and the rate. The other gave you a different rate, different times in each one, different principles in each one. Mm -hmm. But every single piece of that problem, we were able to set up an equation that only had one variable. Mm -hmm. And it's very important to understand E is not a variable. In other words, if you can get the equation down to that, that's only got one variable. Then it's just a question if you know how to solve exponential equations. And if the variable is in the exponent, you're going to have to take the natural log of both sides at some point. If the variable is not, as in the last part of that, the variable was on the equation line, it wasn't in the exponent, we didn't need logarithms to solve. Okay. All right. Look at the next one here. 17? Yeah. Okay. It's really going to be a similar problem, only we're using a different equation. We're going to use the amount of ants is the starting amount times 1 minus r to the t. This is the equation you would use for compounded yearly. Not sure why they're using this equation. Um, 
essentially since we're going to decrease their population by 18% per day, all right, I guess T is going to be the J. Okay. So, how many days of pouring gasoline will the population decrease from 30,000 ants to just one ant? So what's the equation we're going to write? Um, okay. Would you do y equals, or no? What's y going to end up being? Would it be 1? Uh-huh. 1 equals 30,000 times 1 minus, um, oh, 1 minus point. 18. Okay, which is point 0.82. Raise to the T. There's your bearing. That's how long it's going to take. Let's see how long. Okay. What's my third step? Divide by 30,000. Okay, so now I have 1 over 30,000 equals 0.82 to the T. Next step? Uh, uh, plug in the natural log. Take the natural log of both sides. I'm not sure it's quite fair to say plug in the natural log, but I guess that is what I'm doing. Okay, now what? Um, now you divide by the natural log of 0.82. Well, first of all, you got to bring the exponent down in front. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. The I next just... step really is to take that T and stick it there, which you can only do because we're talking natural log now. So now T is... 51.94. Nine that quantity on the left divided by the natural log of 0 0.82. Which is 51.94. Days or years? Um, days. Yes. In other words, you can make T whatever you want. But since the rate they gave us was a daily rate, T is in a day. Okay. A lot of times, most of the time T is in years. But like I said, it can be any time period you want. Oh, well, now I know why they use this for you. In other words, this is like annual compounding, only it's daily compound. Oh, okay. And T is in day. And that is kind of the way they describe it. In other words, they decrease it by 18% per day. It's not continuously being decreased by 18% per second. In other words. That's why they use that equation to model it, as opposed to per. Okay. All right. If I pour larger quantities of gas on the ants each day, I can decrease the population by an even greater rate. Now, what rate is the population decreasing if I can decrease the number of ants to one in just two weeks? Um, I think the formula is 1 equals, oh, uh, wait. Still 30,000. Yeah, 30,000 times 1 minus R raised to 14. And notice that this is also not requiring logs to solve. This is an algebraic mm -hmm. problem that I can solve. I'm still going to start off dividing by 30,000. Okay. And then I'm going to take the 14th root of each side. Okay. Now, how do I do that? I take the 14th root by raising it to the 114th power, 
the left side, raise the right side to the 114th power. And now I end up on the right side, 1 minus r equals whatever. 0.47. What is it? 0.47. On the left? Mm hmm. So r is equal to 0.53. Wait. Just solving this equation. Oh, I see. I move, I move the r to the left and move the point four seven to the right. So then it'd be one minus point four seven, which would be point five three. That's how I got it. Which means what? In context of the problem. Uh, the the rate the pop the ant population decreases. Have to be 53 percent per day. In other words, in the first part of the problem, you put enough gas to carry 18 percent per day, uh -huh. and it took how long? Uh, two uh, weeks. Two weeks. No. Um. This, in this case, we want to kill or get the ants down to one in just two weeks. I can't remember what our answer, and I raised it, but I can't remember what our answer was. Oh, 51.95 days. There you go. So, if we increase the kill ratio to 53% per day, we'll get it from... 53 days down to 14 days. Okay. All right. Um, Ellen, I have unfortunately 4 o'clock okay. that I need to go to, but I think you get the idea. Yeah. You should be able to handle the rest of these. Yep. Um, using whatever equation they tell you to use, it's just a question of where the variable is as to how to solve these. Okay. Good? Yep. I will talk to you next time. Have a good week. Thank you. You too.